Okay, welcome to my lesson on the atomic bomb. Now, as you can see, we've got a map in front of us, all right, where on a map we've pinpointed using Google Maps, all right, where the Hermitage Academy is. So, as you can see, it's just a, that A just there. So, what we're going to do, all right, we're going to show the effect of the atomic bomb if it was dropped onto the Hermitage Academy. Now, for this, what we're going to use is one of these, all right. A lovely A. Now, from this, this will show us the aftermath, okay, and the effect that it could have on the area. All right, so the, drop, the bomb was dropped on our school. This is what would happen. Okay, so, obviously not the best shot in the world, but from it, we can see we've left this nucleus just here. Okay, so we're in the centre here. This is where we have absolute devastation. Now, we put this into perspective of what actually happened to drop the atomic bomb. All right, it was dropped in Hiroshima. Okay, we had a four mile radius all right, where things were obliterated. In other words, anyone that was in the area, any buildings, completely gone. When it was dropped by the Americans using their plane called the Nola Gay, okay, when they dropped it, we had 80,000 people lose their lives. All right, now, if we look at our yoke, all right, we come all the way down to Middlesbrough, okay. It's even gone towards Newcastle as well. It seems not to have gone towards Whitley Bay. Okay, so Whitley Bay seems to be a bit safe here. But what you've got to realise is actually the radiation and the aftermath afterwards, okay, the effect that it could have. All right, so we've got things like, if we look on our map here, let's put this over the top, okay, it says about our physical effects. So in Chester Street here, we've got a slap bang in the middle. You would die straight away within 24 hours, okay all the way up to sort of skin charring and things like that. Here, we also have like fortifications, bunkers demolished right at the epicenter, okay? Even you dug underground, you would still not survive. And probably the most important one, okay? This is the radiation. So, depending on the wind, this is where we'd have fatalities approaching 100% within 24 hours. So quite a big area just here. Also spreading out, causing vomiting, nausea, and also a risk of cancer. So dropping the atomic bomb was a catastrophic event to seemingly end the war. So what you're going to do, right, you're going to investigate and see whether the Americans should have dropped this bomb in the first place on Hiroshima.